hey y'all welcome to today's what's for dinner i have four quick easy and convenient meals to show you guys so on tonight's what's for dinner we're going to be having some chili i'm not sure if i'm going to use all of those beans it's always trial and error when i make chili and i'm doing something that different this time by adding in a bell pepper and an onion so we'll see how it comes out they did not have the original chili so they gave me the mild which is fine i'm going to be topping it with some Kobe jack cheese and some sour cream and then i'll be having some cornbread on the side with some crackers just depending on what everyone is going to want with their chili they didn't even put our meat out so that's the main ingredient of course i'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the fridge and go ahead and start cooking it show you how i make my chili let me know in the comments how you make your chili and if you make it different from mine This was my first time using a bell pepper and onion in my chili and let me tell you guys it is so good and such a game changer and is definitely a new way that I will be making chili now. So let me tell you guys, if you guys like Wendy's chili then you will definitely like this recipe for chili because it was so good and tasted just like Wendy's chili. Not to toot my own horn because I really really like Wendy's chili but that was a comparison for it. It was seasoned so good and the flavors just came together so well. We actually finished this whole pot of chili which we never usually finish all of our dinners but I was like okay that's how you know the dinner was real good. I seasoned with some garlic salt, some onion powder and Clean I did a little bit of pepper. Go, it will save you a lot of time in the end and it's just going to make the process a lot easier when it comes to nighttime and your nighttime routine regardless of if you have kids. After browning your meat with your bell pepper and onion, you're just going to let that cook and let your vegetables get soft. And then I always use the paper towel trick and use this meat chopper and get the grease out like that. And then I went ahead and ended up using two cans of tomatoes and two cans of beans and it was the perfect amount. Like I said, every time I make chili, it comes out differently so I never know how many cans I'm going to use. <laughs> I already tasted the chili and it is so good. I did end up adding a third can of some tomatoes that I already had in the cabinet and the flavor is so good. I just got our cornbread. I'm of course gonna try it because I wanna see what it tastes like. And yummy, so easy you guys. It literally took me probably about not even 20, 30 minutes to make this. So, so easy, so convenient and definitely a go-to recipe. I like my chili to be more on the soupy side versus the thicker side. If you like yours different, then that's perfectly fine, but that's just how I like it over here. And I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 more minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and serve it up with some sour cream and some cheese. All right, you guys, so on this night, we had chicken alfredo with some garlic bread, and this was my first time using this grilled chicken from the freezer section at Walmart, and it was so good, you guys. I had to season it a little bit, but other than that, it was really good, and I wanted to switch up the type of noodles that I used when I made chicken alfredo, so that's why I picked up these bow ties instead of getting your traditional panini noodles. Um, I was just showing you guys that I made some coffee, and then I just did a frozen corn as a side with this dinner and it was so good you guys. We didn't end up eating all of this dinner. I feel like we just never really eat all of our chicken alfredo but it was still really good and so easy and convenient and definitely recommend that chicken that I used. You can always use a rotisserie chicken at Walmart too just to save you some time. Thank you. 
all right you guys moving on to dinner number three i made one of our favorite meals a crock pot zuppa toscana soup and i want to apologize right now i started recording on this night and then time kind of got away from me and i stopped recording Ooh, i'm so sorry about that even though i was um you know didn't finish i still wanted to post it in this video for you guys because if you have never tried this soup before definitely recommend it's inspired from olive garden and the only thing i didn't show you guys was me adding the kale and the heavy whipping cream but definitely check out my channel because i do have a full video of this recipe so tonight we are having some stuffed peppers so i'm just going to make some dirty rice i'm not making all of it though because this is the family size and I don't know it just makes too much and I only have a pound of hamburger meat that I'm using I have our bell peppers I'm just gonna heat them up and then I'm gonna put them in the oven after I stuff them with the dirty rice and top them with some cheese very quick easy and convenient just boiled our peppers and now I'm gonna go ahead and stuff them with the dirty rice and I'm just gonna dry them off because they're like obviously really wet from the water this recipe is so easy to make you guys and instead of stuffing peppers for my girls to eat I just let them eat the dirty rice and I'll pair it with either some chicken nuggets or a hot dog just depending on what they want but you're just going to fill your peppers and then I always just throw it in the oven so that the cheese can melt probably went a little overboard with the cheese but that is okay cheese is good yummy and then I just did a side of vegetables. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you have made any of these recipes. Well, I mean, some of them are pretty common. But if you try any new recipes that might be new to you from today's video, let me know how you are going to like this series on my channel. If this is interesting to you. And I just want to let you know that I'm just trying to make it out here too. I'm a full-time working mom. So I need some easy and convenient meals. So I felt like it would be fun for me to share them with you guys because sometimes I just get burnt out on the same recipes and I'm always looking for some new recipes to switch it up and I love a convenient meal. I just cannot stress that enough with the girls being in school and with me working. Baby, if I can meal prep the night before, then I'm going to do whatever it takes to make dinner time run a lot more smoother. But yeah, so let me know in the comments if you have any recipes that I should try and i would love to try them i've been binge watching these videos on youtube to get some more ideas for some recipes for you guys